Overnight storms cause major problems throughout the area. Lightning is suspected in this fire that destroyed a building at the Paradise Farm Club in East Bradford, Chester County. Employees on the campgrounds tell Eyewitness News they heard roars of thunder all night and saw a huge bolt of lightning strike about 1.15 this morning. Shortly thereafter, we had a young camper staying in our Weitzel camp down the hill on an overnight program uh, get up to go to the bathroom and uh, she ultimately uh, yelled fire. Mm, the meeting house is destroyed, but the good news, no injuries. Lightning also suspended in an overnight fire that damaged a big water tower in Camden. Eyewitness news on the scene here at Copwood and Davis Streets. Fire crews arrived just after 2.30 this morning and they had the situation under control within the hour. Now, those overnight storms also leaving an impact here in Medford, Burlington County, too. Residents of the home escaped serious injury after a tree fell right through the roof and into their bedroom. Mm. Crews were called to that scene to inspect the damage and determine if that structure is still safe. Firefighters also rescue a young woman whose vehicle was partially submerged in the water in Pottstown. Authorities say she drove her car into standing water on West High Street near the railroad overpass overnight. Two firefighters walked out and carried that woman to dry land. She was not hurt, we're told, but her car suffered some water damage. And an early morning wake-up call for residents of this apartment building. It's on the 1200 block of Walnut Street in Center City. 36 people had to be evacuated around 2 a.m. when the roof began leaking. The water damaged the building's alarm system, and that's a code violation. Residents will not be allowed back inside until those repairs are made. And what an awful way to go through mm -hmm. the storm, getting kicked out of your building. Got mm -hmm. that right. Good.